Uh, you know, for all but one series, what did you like out of his game, uh, and uh, particularly maybe that touchdown pass to Traylon? Well, he really. Um, there, there were some things we talked about the improving. Um, you know, I think the communication between him and Todd during the game, his ability to get us uh, to the line of scrimmage efficiently, uh, his ability to to keep his eyes downfield um, numerous times. You know, sliding up in the pocket. You know, I thought the keeper was a, was a great play uh, to Traylon. Um, could have easily run, kept his eyes downfield, attacked the line of scrimmage. Uh, and, you know, and then the touchdown pass to, you know, be able to get, you know, something that he had a similar look on uh, last week, trying to get a catch and run to Traylon. And so it's funny how those things kind of sometimes uh, resurface. Um, always learning. Uh, love his attitude like, like all these other guys. The way that Woodside came in and finished up the game with the with the scoring opportunity that you guys had, how did you? What did you make of that? Thought it was fantastic. I thought he was excited about going in there. Um, he's earned a right to go in there and win, and guys responded. He got us in the right checks, um, you know. And then threw a great ball to Des. wasn't able to come down with it, um, and then scrambled when it opened up. So all the things that he's been working on, especially down in the red zone when it opens up like that, um, he's done that in practice. So I didn't, you know, wasn't shocked. Traylon, was tell hustle. you anything by, by coming back in, or was it not a big deal to start with? I mean, he wanted to play. You know, he wanted to play, and that was uh, exciting. You know, when I looked at him, I said, can you do your job? And, you know, he was cleared, and you know, he wanted to play. And he went in there, and I watched him go try to dig out a safety and not, not flinch and catch a pass and do all the things that we asked him to do. Well, How much you put throw to uh, to make math there? Was that another example of him kind of being able to keep those eyes downfield, even though as he's getting out of the pocket there? Yeah, and you know we we have to try to hit some more of those. We had too many drops, and but you know there were some real positive things. And then you know we talked about not going out the back of the pocket, and I don't think he did tonight once. I think his you know he's realizing where you can really make some hay on those scrambles is. You know, there's some times where I'd rather I'm not cut back in 10 yards from the first down. I don't think there's anything good that can come from that. But um, a, lot of, a lot of things that we can build on. How much did you like the hustle play that Joe Joe Fantastic. was there? Fantastic. It was unbelievable. Touchdown. I already told Joe as he was walking off again. You know, we just have had a ton of those where we play great on first and second down inside the one or two yard line. And then just, you know, the guy made a play on, on third down. So, you know, fantastic job by Joe of you know, defending every blade of grass and just saying, hey, I'm going to try to get him down. And you never know what can happen in this game. Did Robert come to you, Mike, and say you wanted to play, maybe play a couple of snaps before the regular season? Or maybe what was the conversation like there? Oh, I mean, all the conversations between me and the players are going to hopefully stay between me and the players. But you think that you helped him to at least get a little bit of work uh, tonight going the regular season? Just trying to do what's best for everybody to get him ready for the regular season. You've been in that position where you had to stop a guy like Malik. When you are able to, you know, have that scrambling ability against man defense, like how much stress does that really put on a defense? Well, we've just seen from so many different quarterbacks as these um, athletic, um, mobile quarterbacks have continued to to go through college and, and be successful and productive. Um, you know, they make their way into the NFL, and it's it's hard to defend a guy that, that can beat you a lot of different ways. He can beat you throwing in the pocket. He can beat you off, uh, outside the pocket throwing. He can extend plays, and then he can also, you know, beat you by, by turning up and running. So, you know, th there's there's a lot of guys that we're going to defend like that, and, you know, it's, it's difficult. How do you define the progress he's made just as far as being able to balance when to do that and when not to? I think that that's just a field thing. I think especially at that position, maybe playing um, where he played, you know, being able to get away with some things. Uh, we talked about that last week, like you know, an ability pull uh, at wherever you were playing last year probably may not be the same ability pull uh, on a quarterback read that you would have on Sunday. So I think he learned that lesson, and you know, then we move on. Any teaching point, Mike, on the, on the pick that he threw? Could he have done anything differently on that? Or? I mean, I think it got t I thought it got batted, so hopefully we could throw it around their hand or knock their hands down. Right, John, how 70 yards to the air and checks it up at the one. He looked like he had a spectacular night. Uh, you know, we're just still working some plus 50 stuff. You know, we have to be able to, you know, reserve the right to punt and try to pin guys in. But, you know, there were certainly some, some impressive punts. You know, that's, that's part of um, just the whole, 
you know, whether you're backed up and you need a big ball or you got to be able to try to pin them inside the 10 yard line. So we did that a, a couple times, but, you know, had a couple touchbacks as well. John talked on the telecast about Nicholas being the guy at, at right tackle. What, what did he do to, to set himself apart and win that? Uh, just felt like he was the, you know, gives us the best chance right now. Mike, I know that it's not a game of sentimentality, but when you've got a couple of guys on your roster who grew up rooting for this franchise, what's, what's that mean with Theo and Inugo? Well, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's probably pretty cool for them, and I, I think they're great people. Um, the, the little bit of time that I've had to spend with both of them, you know, it's cool that they're back here. It's cool to see their families come to, well, you know, I mean, that's all Theo's family. I met them at, at practice a couple times and was able to visit with them. Um, you know, this is a unique thing that, that anybody gets to do to be a part of the National Football League and to be able to do it, you know, where you, where you grew up is probably – uh, even more special. The safety's all uh, up up to speed now that you can make decisions on, on those guys having gotten a lot of tape on them tonight? I mean, I think it helps. I think there's still some, you know, I mean, we have quite a bit of defense and, you know, I don't know if they're all as at the same point that maybe Kevin and, and Amani are, but I think that they, you know, were able to go out there and do some good things. Hassan really show you some of that leg strength, particularly on fourth and one. Very good run. I thought the catch um, was was nice. You know, being able to shake off a tackle, be able to provide an outlet there for for Logan, get a first down. I mean, there was a lot of good things in that drive. The you know, Rupchich being able to get the penalty, stay on sides, let the guy come into the neutral zone. I mean, it's second down. That's a free first down right there with the clock stopped. So there's a lot of good things in there, being able to use our cadence where in practice maybe we fall started and, and hurt ourselves in that two-minute drill to be able to stay on sides and, and get them to jump and step across I thought was was really cool. Is where the team is right now kind of where you expected, where you hoped this team would be two weeks before the season? Uh, I think it's I think it's close. I think injury wise, we'll see where we're at coming out of this game. But you know, there's still a lot of things that we have have yet to do, and we're going to continue to improve. And I'm excited about the week that we have uh, to prepare and do some things against ourselves and and start looking towards um, you know the Giants. Rashad Weaver was disruptive again tonight uh, in the pass rush. Has he shown uh, enough in this preseason to maybe have earned a little bit, maybe more of a role than just special teams? Yeah, I mean, we'll see when we start uh, game planning for the regular season. But, you know, Weave comes to work every single day. And he's out there and he, he'll he take as many reps as you, you want him to take or he can take. And he's never asking to come off. Um, you know, I think he just keeps getting better. And you know, I love his competitiveness. You guys know that. Progress that you might have made tonight, you know, from the first two preseason games, how would you evaluate it? Um, I think it was probably like a, probably like a B minus, uh, probably like a B minus. It was better than the first couple of preseason games, just as far as me sitting in the pocket and just, you know, trying to take what the defense gives me, even though, like we didn't convert a couple third downs just because they weren't giving us those third and long looks. So, and yeah, just checked down a couple times, and I just took off and slid for whatever we could get and add to the punt. Can you take us through that touchdown to Burks? And just like what was different from last week to this week because you had a similar look last week, but you weren't able to get on the football. They was with two different plays, but uh, I just tried to replace where the pressure was coming from. They had brought the nickel from that side, so I just put my eyes over there first, and he popped open before I, I got hit. So I just uh, trusted in him, and he took it to the house. That was good. How much things maybe slowed down for you since the first start in Baltimore, and how much more comfortable do you feel out there now? I mean, I'm just trying to take it week by week. You know, it's preseason, so. You can't uh, put too much value into that. You just got to take these opportunities as they come and just continue to try to progress from each practice to each opportunity you get to go out there on the field. I'll pick up that. To, uh, I'm going to throw to Rixie. Um, is that the kind of thing you, you like to try to do not only because it's kind of moving up in the pocket, keep the eyes downfield, and you, and you still see your receiver? Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, for as long as possible, I want to remain a passer, and that's what was so frustrating about the first two games. I, I think I – wasn't remaining a passer as long as I wanted to, which was not allowing people to get open downfield and just having people come up early, and that's just not what we want. You had a, a, a third down conversion to Mason when the ball came out fast. I mean, do you feel like you were making progress as this game went on, that the ball came out faster and faster? You know, I just thank God I got to go out there and just 
have another opportunity to improve on things where I might have missed last game or I might have missed the game before that game. And it's just continuing to try to take that progress and implement it where I can and those situations come around because they're going to forever come around. That's just what the game is. So it's just understand that, okay, I missed this protection and I didn't check the routes or I checked the routes and I missed the protection and I looked to the wrong side or just understanding this next level and being able to put myself in a position to be successful. What did you take away from Logan sitting over there for three hours and then coming out and winning the game? That was tough. I was hyped for him. I was turned up. I was probably his biggest fan at that moment. Uh, he had me super excited. That's my dog there, so I was, I was just turned for him, man. Malik, what have you maybe learned about Traylon since you've been teammates with him and how good was, it, good was it to see him come back in the game and score? Man, he worked his butt off, man. And no matter what people say, bro, he, he come today, he come every day to work, bro, and he just continuing to try to progress just like I am. He continuing to go at it. If he mess up, it's whatever. Just go learn from it and keep going, and he just going to make plays whenever you give him the ball. So uh, I'm excited for him. You pick up that blitz on the one play, step up through the line through the A-gap, and you just kind of see open field, right? Now you know your speed, your athleticism. Does that excite you when you just kind of see green grass and a lot of room to run? I mean, yeah, especially when it's man coverage, everybody's back turned. And I was tired, though. So I should have scored, but I was tired. I got to get in better shape. Coach going to rip me on that one. That's one of our keys, our team keys right there, conditioning mindset. Malik, on the touchdown pass to, uh, uh, to Traylon, you had a defender coming at you, and looking at the replays, it kind of looks like you did the sidearm action. When you're doing that, is it, is it just instinctive? Do you think I'm trying to thread it around a guy, or are you just letting it go? I'm just playing football, using the ability God gave me. I ain't really thinking about it. Mm. Yeah, on, the, on the pick Malik, is there anything it can learn from, from the interception, or is that just kind of a fluke that gets, that gets tipped like that? Yeah, it just kind of got tipped. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't mean to be, like, sarcastic or nothing. I, I didn't want to come off as sarcastic. No, it just got tipped. That's just what it is. I ain't 6'5", 6'6", you know what I mean? It's going to happen sometime.